Let's make this game more epic. Nailed this intro. Hey there, I'm Yannick and this is Aesop Prod. This video is going to be about polishing. Stay hydrated. Normally I would do this polishing stuff only in the end of my game, so right now I wouldn't polish anything, but since I'm making these devlogs, I decided that it's probably more interesting for you to see a better looking game than this shit that I had. Let's make it beautiful! Yeah, let's do it. The first thing that I did to make this game look better is as Zero Triss and Exploding Dragon mentioned to leave some blood trails on the ground when the player or the enemies are being hit. Because normally when you lose some blood there will be some blood trails on the ground and this is just more natural I think. So here is my first attempt and I created a static particle effect additionally to the normal particle effect but yeah you can see the result it wasn't quite sufficient enough. In my second iteration for the blood trail I stayed with only one particle effect. This time I used friction on the single particles so they slowed down over time and in the end lay still and form a nicely blood trail and I think this looks quite better so I stayed with this method. In the third iteration I decreased the blood spreading strength. I also let the particles now collide with the environment so they are not lying on the water or something awkward like this. Yeah, that's much better and well this is for now my final result. It's not too good but not too bad either. So. Well, I think it turned out quite nicely and I gonna just leave it like that. One thing really every video game has and you can't miss is cover shake! Let's shake it! Yeah! Here you can see the camera shake in action. Now hitting the enemy or being hit by them is much more impactful. The strength of the camera shake is dependent on the damage you are dealing or that you are dealt with and when you are dealing the killing blow it's even increased further. But my combat system wasn't epic enough yet. Hitting such a small orc with your large axe should be more impactful. So I additionally added a force that is applied to the enemy as soon as you are hitting them depending on the strength of your weapon. Hitting those enemies now feels way better. The next thing on my list was to make the game look better just generally. I've been using this old tile map for quite some time and actually I'm not even allowed to use it for a game that I will publish because it's not mine and I have no rights so it's time to create my own and hopefully better looking tile set. And here it is, that's my new tile set. Well, it's not finished yet, I'm probably gonna add some elements and also these hills aren't mine and I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna keep them because they are looking a little bit over textured compared to the rest of the tile set and the game, so I'm probably gonna replace them. Yeah, but the overall look have changed a lot and I would love to hear your opinion about it. Do you think it's better now or worse? And just tell me what you think. Since the map looks pretty empty now, I created some bushes that I can place anywhere so the environment is more living. I also wanted to make this game more realistic, so I went out in the real world and took some inspiration. Look at this beautiful bush. <gasps> it's moving! Yeah, so my bushes are now moving too because, you know, um, uh, physics. Where we already talk about it, I also added some dust effects when the player is running or doing his dodging rolls, so yeah, it's just looking more like he's part of the world. And God said, let there be light, and he saw that it was good. Yeah, the last thing that I've added was this little light effect. I'm not quite sure if it's good or bad or if I keep it like this or will change it a little bit more, but I think it's a nice addition and makes the game look more interesting. So this is all the polish that I was able to apply this week. Here is a little before after comparison. I think that the game looks much better now. 
Of course, I'm not finished yet. There are a lot of other things that have to be polished, like the UI is still looking terrible and there is no cooldown for the dodging roll and there is no health bar for the enemies. Yeah, I still have a lot to do, but I'm really happy with the way that my work turned out. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate every one of you, really every single one. And if you haven't done it already, consider subscribing because then you won't miss any upcoming videos like this. And you definitely don't want to miss it because they are getting better and better and the game is getting better and better. And yeah, I hope we see you again. Bye bye.